All right, so in the garage today, our special guest is a 2014 BMW Z4 S Drive 35i. It is the twin turbo in 54, and I'll be showing you how to change the oil. All right, so tools list for this one is pretty easy. Uh, torque wrench, 3 8 inch ratchet, 17 mil socket, 13 millimeter socket, a pick, and then this oil filter housing socket. It is a, an 87 millimeter 16 flute. This has a half inch drive on top, but this is absolutely essential. I tried it with the normal oil filter wrench. That didn't work. I tried it with the strap wrench. That didn't work either. I tried it with this rubber strap wrench and that didn't work. So you absolutely need this tool and I'll put a link in the description for this one. Um, as far as the sockets go, the OEM drain plug is a 17 millimeter. Uh, my man filter came with a another drain plug and crush washer and it happened to be a 13 millimeter. So just keep that in mind, depending on what brand of oil filter you buy, um, it might come with a different size um, drain plug, but the threads are exactly the same and it fit perfectly. So no issues there. So as you can see, this thing is quite low. So my first method is I'm gonna try my homemade wooden ramps to see if I can get up underneath without scratching the front bumper. And if that doesn't work, I'll pull out my low profile jack and we'll try it that way. All right, make sure I don't hit the bumper. The oil I'm using is a Liquamoly 5W30 man filter. There's the part number there. I'll show you real quick what actually comes with the oil filter. There's the O-ring for the oil filter housing, new drain plug, new crush washer, and then this O-ring will go inside the oil filter housing. So what's interesting about this car is there is no dipstick. So you kind of just have to rely on what the manual says, which I believe is seven quarts of oil but there's no way to check it physically with a dipstick. So we'll just trust BMW knows what they're doing. Okay, so I'll try to get you a view of where the oil drain plug is. So we'll come underneath. It's facing the passenger side. Right there. Powerful. Try to swap these out in here. So now that it's mostly done draining, we'll go ahead and throw the new drain plug and crush washer in. If you want to be super precise, I think the torque spec is roughly 25 Newton meters. I'm just gonna suck it down and call it good. So here's where the oil filter is located, right on top of the engine. It does have a specific special tool to remove this. I don't have that, so we're gonna improvise. So I'm gonna try to use a combination of oil filter wrench and a rag so I don't scratch up the cover. So locally, they don't have the exact tool that I need, 
So we're gonna try this first. I ordered the proper oil filter housing wrench. Um, it should be here tomorrow. Until then, we'll try one of these rubber strap oil filter wrenches and see if that works. Let's try this again. So this is the correct oil filter housing wrench or socket. 87 millimeter, 16 flute on a half inch drive. And that should fit perfectly right there. You kind of have to release it slowly. It releases a spring and it drains the oil filter housing. There you can kind of see the housing starting to drain. And then here you can see that little green O-ring here. That will that came with the new filter and that will need to be replaced. And then we'll go ahead and remove the old cap O-ring. It's always a good idea to kind of lube up the new one with some new oil. And then just make sure it's seated in that groove all the way around. And the new filter. It goes on either direction. There's no specific way for it to go on. So you can see on the cap here, possibly it's labeled 25 Newton meters and that's what we'll torque it to. All right, we can go ahead and add the new oil. Okay, so like I said before, this holds seven quarts. There is no dipstick to check. So you just have to trust what they tell you in the manual. Also wanna take this opportunity to show off this pretty sweet oil funnel. All right, there's seven quarts. What is that dog barking at? What's up, Izzy? What's the problem? <laughs> Go play. All right, that is all there is to it. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you on the next video. All right, so with no dipstick, so how do you really check to see if there's a, the right amount of oil? I'll show you here, so wait, you have to start the car. And then this little button here, you'll hold down until you get a little triangle. And then the release, and then you can cycle through using this scroll button here until you get to where it says oil, and then click BC. So now it's taking a measurement. 
to let you know where the level is at. Sometimes this takes just a couple minutes. All right, so it took about five minutes. But you can see it shows it at the max level, so we don't need to add any more. And then actually on the iDrive, it shows the same thing. So now we'll go about resetting it. So we'll kind of do it the same way as before. Use this button, hold it down, except this time you hold it a little bit longer until it turns red. And then again, use this scrolling button to scroll through until you get the oil icon and then click BC. And ask if you want to reset and hit BC again. Press and hold. And then it's resetting now. And that's all there is to it. Not too bad.